Princess Eleven and have been really inspired by you to follow my passion for content creating so I'm going to playing every single champion's worst role in ranked and try to climb and go bolder than you at 20 if I can't vid. Xerox. What? Are you asking? What? Good luck bro, you got that. You got it man. Wait, you're doing, you're playing every champion in their worst role in ranked, okay? Good luck Xerox lol. And then you said go bolder by the new at 20 if I can't vid. Question mark. I don't understand the last part, but good luck, bro. You got this, man. Thanks at $37. You got this. Do you want to watch the initial video? Heck yeah, I do, bro. Link it. All right, bro. Let's see how this goes. I'll give it a watch. No promises. I watched the full thing. I'm going to attempt to play every single League of Legends champion with the worst role and try to go from iron to a minimum of gold core in rank solo. Wow. What's your peak rank, bro? Okay, with at least a 60% win rate while starting with one of the worst MMRs as an Iron 4 with zero LP. You buy that Iron 4 account? Hmm? I've literally gone through every single champion and noted down the role with the worst win percentage through OP.GG and put them all together in a list of which roles I will play for each champion. And I'm literally going to be live streaming the entire journey on my Twitch so you guys can watch me suffer. I did find there tended to be a lot more champions with jungle being their worst role simply because there wasn't enough data to show an accurate win percentage for specific roles on champions. So for some I opted to choose a role myself like Bard and Blitzkrank mid. Now you're probably thinking man you're gonna play champions you've never touched before and play them in their worst roles. Isn't that kind of inting? And can't you get reported for that? And to that, I say, Riot, please don't ban me. Now, you're also probably thinking, How that work? Isn't that really easy? I'm yeah. a challenger, master, diamond player. And to that, I say, I'm really not that good at the game, guys. I'm not some hidden challenger, grandmaster player. I actually peaked at Emerald this season and tilt queued my way back to platinum in one night. So this is going to be kind of difficult for me, especially because I'm a top main, and we all know top champions take the most amount of skill and mechanics to win games. My fallback right, champion forward. in top... Like I said before, I'm going to stream the entire process on my Twitch where I take an Iron 4 account and then I randomly generate a champion to play every time and whatever their worst role is, I'll have to roll or support, which makes sense and I think I'm going to have the most fun with this role because I'm a top main myself and it multiple roles ended up being in jungle because they aren't usually played there. But Mid lane or a champion like Leona who originally would be placed in jungle but would probably have a harder time in mid again good enough to punish me especially if i play a champion like hecra but with the last role support some people think it's the easiest role in the game and it is but in my opinion they either make or break your game you can't and do you really think i'm gonna be year old with a full set of hair and hopefully a bright this future is a lot of consequences. i can't wait to be pinged by my adc when i pick a non-meta support and they don't understand that supports better than tyler one as for the consequences, if I don't complete this challenge before the split ends, I'm gonna go balder than Tyler one. Yes, I'm, I'm so bald, bro. I'm so bald. I am so bald right now. I am so bald. It is crazy how bald I am. I am so freaking bald. Young 20 year old with a full set of hair and hopefully a bright future. So the last thing I want to do is be an egghead. I'll be starting to stream on Twitch Wednesdays and Fridays around 8 to 9 p.m. Though those days are subject to change because if there's more demand, I'll be more than willing to stream more. But I just want to see how it is. And if streaming is in your style, I'll be posting on YouTube and TikTok for each stream. Hopefully you'll be able to see more of my personality and maybe you'll check on my Twitch after the fact. But uh, if you think this is an interesting concept or you just want to follow a new league streamer who's really going to take streaming and content creation seriously, hit up my social and hopefully i'll be able to see you guys on my twitch well i can't freaking wait bro let's go we will be there